This video is about the functioning of a screw gauge, which is a very precise instrument. It's an instrument that can uh, read lengths that are as small as 0 0.01 millimeter or one hundredth of a millimeter. Now it's actually a very simple instrument. It, it functions in a very uh, simple manner and its functioning is based on the advancing or the receding of a screw when the screw is rotated. Now when we rotate a screw, it either advances forward or recedes backward depending on the way we rotate it. The distance advanced or receded by a screw in one complete rotation is called the pitch of the screw. Now in a typical screw gauge, the screw that's used, uh, as you can see over here, has a pitch of one millimeter. And if we make the screw rotate, one complete rotation, it moves back by one mm. If we rotate it by half a rotation, it moves back by half mm. If we rotate it one quarter of a rotation, it, it moves back by uh, one quarter of a millimeter, that's 0.25 millimeter. And if we rotate it one hundredth of a rotation, then it moves back by one hundredth of a millimeter, which is 0 0.01 mm. And that happens to be the least count of a typical laboratory screw gauge. Now a screw gauge has this screw which runs all the way through the sleeve up to this ratchet. Uh, there's this uh, thimble which we where from which we hold the screw gauge and we have a circular scale here and a linear scale here. Any object whose length is to be measured is held between the face of the screw and the face of this anvil here. Now as I said the screw gauge has two scales the linear scale and the circular scale. Now the circular scale has markings made in a way that it divides the entire rotation of the screw into 100 equal divisions. So if the circular scale moves by one division we know that the screw has uh, rotated by one hundredth of a rotation and that's what tells us that the screw has moved by one hundredth of a millimeter and that's essentially the principle of the screw gauge gives us the least count the pitch of the screw divided by the number of circular scale divisions uh, now <clears throat> when we take uh, a reading for the length of an object uh, what we see is a exposed part of the linear scale and a circular scale reading and that is the division of the circular scale which coincides with this reference line of the linear scale or the main scale. Now the main scale reading is the length of the exposed part of the linear scale or the main scale and the circular scale reading as I said is the number of the circular scale division which coincides with the reference line of the linear scale. Now in this particular example here what we can say is that the length of the measured object is a little bit more than three millimeters. Uh, these markings on the linear scale are one millimeter each and therefore the length can easily be assessed to be a little bit more than three millimeter. So now we know it is three millimeter plus x some amount and how much is x? x is the distance from this third division up to the circular scale. Now how much is that distance x equal to? Now the circular scale has advanced by 24 divisions and that is 24 one hundredths of a millimeter and that's the value of this distance from the third division up to the circular scale. 
So you have 0 0.01, the least count, into this circular scale reading, and that's 0.24 mm. The measure length, therefore, is 3 mm plus 0.24 mm, and that's 3.24 mm. In general, when we take a reading, we take the main scale reading, and to it, we add the circular scale reading times the least count. And that's the simple functioning of a screw gauge. Thanks very much for watching.